hazardous beach in Warwick is about to get a warning system that hopefully will save lives. Those of us familiar with Kanimika mm. Point know that dangerous currents there have killed several swimmers, but people not from that area aren't always aware. NBC 10's Temi Topa Adelaide is live there now. Temi Topa. Yeah, Dan and Patrice, that's right. Sadly, there have been drownings here over the years, including one just about two weeks ago. Now, the danger here lies in the water behind me, a sandbar that beckons people into the bay, then quickly disappears as the tide rushes in. Locals know the dangers, but youngsters and first-time visitors to Connecticut Point Beach may not know the changing tide can carry them away into Narragansett Bay. There's a sign, but it's proven not to be enough. Like it's people that don't know the area. We all know it's like, my gosh, this is as close as I want to be. So Mayor Frank Picozzi and others developed a computerized warning system. It costs less than $1,000. The tide schedule has been downloaded into the program and working with um, Captain Hart and Captain Vale, they've identified the crucial times when, with, with a very uh, large margin for safety of when people need to start leaving. Here's how it works. When the tide changes and the water starts to rush up Narragansett Bay, a siren will go off, followed by a repeated announcement telling people to stay off the sandbar where people get washed away. There will also be flashing police lights mounted on poles at the end of the sandbar and signs with graphics telling people to stay off the sandbar. That announcement will be in three languages, English, Portuguese and Spanish. NBC 10 spoke to the family of Valentin Cardona Sanchez this weekend, two years after Sanchez drowned at Connecticut trying to save 10-year-old Yuscarly Martinez. His brother told NBC 10 in Spanish, personally, I think it's a very good idea because this warns all the people who have not been or thinking about visiting this place to be aware that it may be your life or a loved one's life that may be at risk there. Now, it was that double drowning two years ago that really got people talking about how to make this beach safer. The warning system is expected to be up and running in about two weeks. Live in Warwick, Temi Talk by Adelaide, NBC 10 News. Hi, everyone. It's Mario Florio from NBC 10. Thanks for checking out the NBC 10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across southern New England. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always, thank you for turning to 10.